The exact location of my island wouldn't mean much to you. <laughs> uh -huh. so let's just say Robert Vaughn. The Lucifer Complex. God damn man, they had fucking they had a helicopter and a camera and they were gonna use it. Okay, just hanging out with snakes. He's the opposite of Indiana Jones. Well, snake <laughs> Did he just do a run friend. along now to a snake? Okay, boy. Let me skedaddle. A couple million. He's just a DJ. <laughs> he just cuts to the outside. It's like a festival. There's a bunch of kids on fucking days. drugs. That's when it all really just let the old laser index. Is this the beginnings of Google? Is that what this is? Oh shit, we're getting into his dubstep material. He's like, yeah, war's a terrible thing. I don't watch any other footage, but war's pretty terrible. Then in the 60s, it was all about getting fucked up, getting laid, and listening to music. It does look great how he's just stoically watching a band play a song. Oh, now we got a smile, though. And dancing. We got some dancing. We got some 70s booty. Or 60s booty. <laughs> he watches this for like five minutes and then he's like, Computer, search pornography. A love generation, I think. He's just staring at boobs. <laughs> that was great. It's just like, it's just a shot of boobs, and he's like, yeah, yeah, boobs. <laughs> oh man, I remember boobs before taking this shitty job in the middle of the ocean. This is the first time Vietnam footage hasn't been scored to CCR, by the way. It's a fun fact. Did they just film this beginning section when they realized their movie wasn't long enough? Like, is that what happened? <laughs> this doesn't seem to really have anything to do with anything. Oh, this is getting interesting. I thought I was just watching bus videos. Cool, would you like to... Some of the battlefields weren't so unpleasant. I love how it's like... It's supposed to be some type of ethnic or specifically cultural dance, and it's definitely the whitest woman ever. I think you could do with a little less bump and a little more grind. What the fuck? These guys are getting right to it. I love how during this time, dudes can be sex symbols when they look like everybody's dad. Which I guess was the sex symbol back in the fucking 70s. But Robert Vaughn literally looks like someone's dad. And she's just like, hey, can I get up on that D? I'll wait back at the hotel. Can we just talk about how fucking cool Robert Vaughn is with those shades on? And that outfit? Everybody else is wearing uniforms, he's like, fuck that. Collared shirt. Open. As much as possible. Bitchin' shades. A war where you couldn't always be certain who the enemy was. It could be a bus. <laughs> Look at this motherfucker. Look at how he's dressed. He is looking to get laid. He is not at work. Hmm. There's this thing. Oh! He got chopped! Bam! Yeah. This was written by a guy who's like, I'm making the new James Bond. I'm making the American James Bond. It's gonna work. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be the shit. And then it started, and everybody in the theater who probably produced this movie at the premiere was like, oh, fuck, why did we give him money to do this? I understand completely why this is in the public domain. No one wants to take responsibility for this. You watched Top Gun yesterday? We watched Top Gun every day. We're uh, fighter pilots. 
I'm never gonna get this <laughs> get over this. This movie is framed with the idea that this guy who has all the information in the world, all the movies, all the books, all of the music, all of the art possible that can be put into information digitally on a tube computer. And he's like, I want to watch this guy. I want to watch what this guy was doing. <laughs> it just turns into a Jeep commercial. Jeep Cran Cherokee. <laughs> For all your secret Nazi base needs. So many Jeeps. I'm, th I'm starting to think this movie was sponsored by Jeep. And they were just like, as long as you get as many Jeeps in as many scenes as you can. Can we get more defined tones and less movement? It's really screwing with my copy of the movie. I mean, this is... what? <laughs> they have attack alligators! Oh, now his socks are gonna be wet. <laughs> I love this footage! They're just like, hey, Ryan, grab a camera, just run through the grass. <laughs> Got it, boss. We got some folks just fishing here. They definitely could see him. He's not well hidden. <laughs> oh, they used the Vulcan death grip on him. Hmm, this smells fishy. He was in like South America. And now suddenly he's in Florida. And was picked up by some naval ship after he was being chased by Nazis. In here is one of the most modern research laboratories in the world. With two dudes down there, the doing pediatric science. Research for Doctor, I tell you, I'm really turned on by all this technical expertise that's available for the bump on my head and my ankle, but uh, no offense, can we save it for later? Um, of course. <laughs> no offense, could you shut the fuck up and put me in a bed? Yep, this guy's still here. Watching this shit. New character, running in. Is the Aquabats? <laughs> Looks like they're wearing the Aquabats. Eye <laughs> masks. Grab the axe. Grab the axe. Thank you, resourceful. Woman? Axe? Just stay back. Okay, okay, okay. I plan on having sex with you later. You all right? Ooh. Ooh. You think you could trifle with Vaughn? What about the natives? They're prisoners, too. They treat them just like slaves. Assholes. Slaves. Us Americans only did that that one time for like a lot of years. <laughs> Can we just talk about this dude? Just look at that dude. I think just How are we supposed to take anything seriously in the scene when a dude looks like this? Ready? 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 Boom! You got Vaughn, bitch. Watch yourselves. Vaughn coming in. He doesn't look like us. He's not wearing the hat and the sunglasses. <laughs> Why does everybody look the same? They all look like Ron Jeremy stand-ins. Yeah, there's real hiccups in the basic security around here. If Robert Vaughn could just walk around and no one notices. Oh, shoot. Also, is she getting like an IV of straight whiskey? <laughs> what the fuck is that shit? Do be my guest. I promise you that you will be most impressed. <laughs> Sir, Guard your lighting is too villainous. In here so that <laughs> <laughs> test tube. Okay, you take a right at the test tubes. And then you lightly jog. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna need to take her outfit. <laughs> you just knocked it alone out. <laughs> they don't even know. Is there like no radio communication? What the fuck? Oh. Oh, those oh, those people we've never seen before? They're enemies. <laughs> Boom. You just got Nazi'd. Uh -huh. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm a Nazi. I am Oberführer Gerhard Fogg. This is my assistant, 
Frau Brunner? This is my bay. It'd be, it'd be sweet if he had some popcorn just all of a sudden. Mm, yeah. With like six edits, so this could be a comedy man. and awesome. <laughs> I thought you were just gonna start kissing her like a weirdo. You are ma You American. You will never Boom! Chopped! Up a bow! Robert Vaughn! Oh shoot. He's been chopped. Oh these idiots with these stupid <laughs> I think they wore those disguises so that they wouldn't be seen as Nazis. You man! They're like, sure, we'll be in your movie, but we don't want to be known as Nazis, so can we use disguises? Ah! Boom! <laughs> oh, man. Did John Wick do... Or the, did the guy who directed John Wick do this movie? Look at this combat. Next level. Oh! Oh, yeah! Oh, we're just gonna watch this fight and not get involved, I guess. And have no emotion about it whatsoever. Ooh, boom! Boom! Saw that in wrestling. Oh, that was a meaty spit. Fucking gross. <laughs> okay, on my signal, open fire. Do they all get guns? Oh shoot! Stunt fall. Don't do anything to draw their fire. One shot into this petrol and you'll be cinder. Come on, let's go. You drive. Then why hold there? <laughs> hey, I got an idea. You set up here next to all the explosive shit and start shooting. Hold your like position. I'll get the explosives and put a stop to all of this. Who is he talking to? You guys don't seem to have radios, or else the security would have been a little bit better. Oh man, it blew those windows open. <laughs> They're really into spitting on their recently killed enemies. <laughs> That's like really their move. And meaty spits too. Spits with a lot of shit behind it. Oh no, they're on the set of Pirates of the Caribbean. Excellent use of pyro. Oh, is he on fire? Oh, we got a man on fire. Just his pants, though. I guess he's a liar. Liar. Get it. Oh, but he's got more of the body. More of the body. He's wa Okay. Still mostly the bottom half. And they're really not walking with any sort of... <laughs> Stop, drop, and roll. Yeah. Another dude on fire. Okay. Look, we got the guy. We got the guy who will set himself on fire. We got him for six hours, so we're gonna do it like a couple of times. <laughs> oh, shit! The big H. What are you doing here? Is that Taika Waititi? You are no longer of any use to the Reich. What are they like, like magic eagles? What, what are we doing here? Oh my gosh. Oh, it was hologram Hitler. Oh shit. We got a clone fight. <laughs> oh, 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 Von on Von action. Is this how the MMA shit started? Is this UFC? The octagon with swastikas and magic eagles? So you're the one. <laughs> yes. Do you realize what you have done? Stay back! Was Santa. Work. Santa was behind it. Dollars. And he, and apparently he opened up Splash Mountain again. I don't understand why that matters. And now he's running very slowly away. I've gotta get to my sleigh. And this guy's apparently just watching the water. We're gonna find out this is the island from Lost. 
and this is why the, the ending of Lost made no sense. Because <laughs> it's connected to this shitty movie. This is what they get for the war on Christmas. We're taking it to them by aligning with the Nazis. <laughs> Did he just do this with his nose? Is he late for his coke appointment? It was only the beginning. Oh my gosh, is there supposed to be a sequel to this garbage? He's like, yep, that was a good watch. <laughs> this information I already knew that I shared with you, who is no one because there's no more humans. <laughs> That's it. That's it. <laughs> Robert and Beverly Chu, Jug Wegland, Ed Haskins, man, you guys made... You guys made a shitty movie, guys. This was bad. This is this is <laughs> this is a bad movie. Funny, but bad. Um, like I said, a couple edits. This could be a fucking comedy that would that would kill. But this is a this is so shitty. I kind of want to wait to get into it. <laughs> Give a chance for these names to be immortalized in the shittiness of the movie they made. God, that was shitty, huh? That was a real shitty movie. Uh, the, the Lucifer Complex. Uh, um, it promised shittiness and boy did it deliver. Uh, if I were to make a guess, I would say what happened with this movie is the guy who made it, who wrote it and put it together, probably separate men, but what I imagined happened is they put together what they thought would be like an American James Bond story involving Nazis. Almost like a mixture of James Bond and uh, Indiana Jones. But less, uh, less nerdy in terms of archaeological discovery and history and more of um, badassery. And then they filmed it and realized, holy shit, we're only at like an hour. So then they had to expand what they thought were the interesting parts, which were the action scenes, which were not interesting and terribly made. And then they also had to create this beginning and end and middle sequences involving this dude in a cave with a time capsule that is supposed to act as history for whatever future society finds this earth after it's been completely destroyed by Nazi clones because in theory the Nazi clones plan wins but then they destroy the earth anyway it doesn't really make a lot of sense it doesn't make a lot of sense um it also doesn't make sense that that dude would be like hey let's watch again how the world got fucked instead of let's enjoy the art and the history and everything else in humanity that maybe I want to see. I'm like, no. He's like, no, let's fuck that. Let's just watch uh, the most depressing fucking thing ever. Um, so yeah, it was a bad movie. Real bad. I don't recommend anyone watch it. I'm glad I watched it, because I, 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 <laughs> I am of the firm belief that every bad movie you watch helps you understand and appreciate what you love about good movies. And it helps you understand how hard it is to make a good movie. Because I think this movie, it ha like I said, a couple edits in different ways could have been a decent one. And I do think it ended... <laughs> I think it probably originally ended in kind of like a jumpstart of a... franchise. Um, in terms of, oh, like this... <laughs> yeah, like, it, it really feels like they had a story that, it had a story where it's just the story of this guy overcoming this crazy Nazi plan. And then the ending was probably going to be Robert Vaughn, like, looking up at the camera and going, well... Just another crazy mission for me. My character's name, who I completely forgot, I think it was like Manning. But instead they were like, oh, well, this movie's not holding together very well. And we're not going to make it anymore. And we need to make it an hour and a half. So how about we throw in this other shit 
make it this big statement about the future and, and war and history with this very down ending that's supposed to make people think at the end, even though if they were thinking at all, they'd realize what a terrible movie we've made. So yeah, it's a... Wow, it's a bad one. Um, it's, it's shockingly bad. It, but it's like... It's the kind of bad that makes me wonder if this person worked again to write anything else, because I would love to see how that turned out. <laughs> to wonder if... I also would love to see some type of, like, documentary on this shit. Um, no, they just said he was, like, a super spy who fucked up maybe twice, and every other time was just the baddest of badasses. Um, and... <laughs> fuck, man. So funny. I kind of want to... I wish there was something I could, like, read on this movie to figure out what happened. You know what I mean? Just figure out who did what when to create such a thing. Uh, cause hot damn, that's funny. It's funny how it, it ended up. It's also a bummer to go back to Lucifer Complex, even though I hope you can show up 8 o'clock Friday for some more uh, Killers from Space goodness. But what bums me out about the Lucifer Complex, that is a story that probably in the hands of a competent writer-director would be very interesting. And if they held on to the secrets long enough, and they kept the mystery stuff tight, and then the reveal's way more interesting, and they knew how to do an action scene, or they didn't have action scenes. Um, yeah, that's, that's a good point. <laughs> this, this seems like they had an idea, they realized it wasn't working and was too short, and they were just like, fuck it. Just, you know, put some shit in the end. Put some shit about anti-war stuff. Um, <laughs> that's what makes me also think it was like parts of the end were thrown together because at the end of production I mean because they threw it at the beginning in the middle and the end but I feel like they must have seen it and said well you know what the kids love the anti-war sentiment they love the BS about you know the, like who were the real Nazis uh, who? What are we really s stopping with all this war? Like, just throw some hippie shit in the beginning and the end. Maybe with some VO where the guy clearly doesn't give a shit about what he's talking about. And he sounds like he's talking through uh, some type of cloth or his own hand. Like, it was, it was really, really amazing. The levels of shit. Eh? But, you know, it, it provided some laughs and some good times. So, thank you, Lucifer Complex. Thank you for your your wonderful works. Um, yeah, especially when like they're like, ah, oh, war, terrible, waste of time, all this technological put like thought put to killing each other. And then the sixties, man, killer tunes. <laughs> <laughs> Man, World War One, World War Two, the worst of humanity. Can't believe the horrors that people were committing against each other. You know, then we got to the 60s and we did some drugs, man, and we listened to some kick ass music. Then, um. <laughs> and then they, and because this movie couldn't afford it, you didn't hear the. I'm half a barrel. Hang away the flag. Ooh, that red, white, and blue. Yeah, that's right. CCR, motherfuckers. Get into it. <laughs>